Hi guys and welcome to a, a short video. I'm just checking in shortly with this video um, where I'm going to show you some, some new watches I have uh, added to my collection. And um, well, I've been uh, uh, gone for almost uh, three weeks, so there ha hasn't been a lot of new videos on, on this channel. I've been traveling in the US, uh, especially in uh, California. And uh, well, I will get back to that part uh, later because I sh shot some great video, uh, especially in uh, Las Vegas, where we ended our vacation, um, where I'm going to show you some really cool watch shops. And uh, well, uh, this video is just to, to check in with you guys and to say I'm alive and uh, I got some, uh, some new watches here. And um, well, uh, just a short uh, watch, wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Omega Seamaster 300 Professional. You see the waves in the dial. Well, a classic, well, I think you could say uh, now a classic uh, dive watch, the, the James Bond dive watch. This is the, of course, the automatic version, not the quartz version. This this one, I showed you this watch in my uh, in my uh, watch collection video, this this piece is um, uh, from the year 2000, so it's got 16 years. It's 16 years old, uh, but it's still running smoothly. And uh, well, actually, I will do a video on this piece at uh, an, a, another time uh, because I actually I think this watch could become uh, like a. With time, in maybe five, ten years, it could become like a, maybe a bit like a, the Rolex Submarine, a legendary dive watch. And um, the interesting uh, uh, thing about this watch is actually that it's it's not produced anymore. So um, if you look at eBay or other uh, places where you can buy watches and and parts for for watches, uh, for example, the the bezel inlay. It's really expensive. Uh, the steel bracelet goes for several hundred uh, dollars uh, because it, it's uh, quite hard to find uh, these spare parts if you uh, if you need them because Omega doesn't produce this watch anymore. But that was just a little rant, a little ramble about this watch, which was my first uh, higher-end Swiss luxury watch. So I'm. And I'm never going to part with this. I, I love it and I think uh, in the future it's going to be a, a legendary uh, watch that will probably go uh, quite quite much up in price. But well, that's just a little talk about this. Let's uh, just have a quick look at uh, some new cool stuff uh, I have gotten into my collection. Well, actually, if you've seen some of my videos, I used, I've used an old, uh, very dull, uh, IKEA knife for 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 changing the uh, the bezel inlay for for the Seiko SKX009. So, well, it was my birthday in, uh, not so many days ago, and uh, my girlfriend bought me this cool Swiss Army Victorinox uh, knife. So, got a lot of cool functions here: uh, the bigger knife and a can opener and. Uh, Beer opener and a toothpick here and a screwdriver. So just to show you this cool piece, you're probably going to see see this guy a lot more in future videos when I'm going to open packages and maybe change bezels and, and stuff. So a nice gift from my from my girlfriend. So let's put the put this one away. And uh, well, I picked up I picked up uh, two. Two new pieces, um, and uh, well, let's start with the the Japanese one, and we we'll get back to the Swiss one. Uh, this is a, a Citizen EcoDrive. As you see, I'm I'm quite uh, quite happy about the the City, Citizen EcoDrive, the Pro Master. You can I will leave a link, uh, and uh, uh, and you will see uh, in the video uh, a link so you can see my re review of that watch bus. But I picked this up in uh, actually in San Francisco in Chinatown. Uh, for good price and it was actually a watch I've been looking for so I was quite lucky I found it uh, in a cool little uh, watch uh, boutique um, in Chinatown in San Francisco a, a boutique that specializes especially in citizens and uh, he had a, a, a 
an extremely big um, uh, collection of uh, of uh, other Japanese watches um, and Casios and yeah. But I will leave a um, when I do a review of this. This is just uh, just to show you the watch. When I do a review, I will uh, leave a. Uh, uh, his address, the, the address for the for the watch shop in in San Francisco, Chinatown, if you ever get there. But well, a cool round box. It's like a cardboard box with the plastic. This part is plastic. This is like cardboard, but quite cool. A, a lot a box that is a lot better than the the box I got my other citizens in. So let's have a look. And as you see. It's the ProMaster, but the more common ProMaster, the more common ProMaster version, and again Eco Drive, uh, and this is um, with the blue uh, dial, the blue bezel inlay, and this very very nice blue watch strap, a rubber strap. Uh, and I've been wearing this watch. Um, on my vacation since I picked it up. I only brought one watch with me to, to the US. It was my Rolex GMT Master, which was really uh, a nice function to have when you sit in the plane and when you're uh, in a in a country where the, the time zone is nine hours different than here in Denmark. So it was a, a nice touch because I couldn't use the, the GMT function to always be uh, aware of what uh, the time is back here in Denmark. Uh, also to just do a little work. I, I'm never really off off my job, so but a lot of it could be fixed by email. So it was nice to always know what time it is uh, back here in in my home country. So I picked up this piece and I was wearing it for most of the vacation. And well, I'm very very happy about this. It's a very very cool watch. Actually, the the black version, the automatic version, is is actually uh, used professionally by the the Italian uh, military, the Marine in Italy, so a very respected uh, dive watch. And um, well, this is, I'm really happy about this watch. I haven't uh, regretted buy, buying this watch for a second, a great, great watch. So, well, I will get back to uh, a deeper review of this at a later uh, time. Just right now, I just wanted to show the watch and uh, back in with you. And I'm staying with the the dive watches because I have picked up this this nice piece. I used to own actually um, two type Heuer watches, and I know it's a it's a watch brand that gets a lot of criticism. Uh, and I, I, I can't really follow uh, much of this criticism. It's been like a lot of watch snobs. Uh, they just want to pick on Tag Heuer. But I actually, um, this is my third Tag Heuer. And I have uh, I've been, been really happy about uh, all three. And this is this is uh, very new. So, but uh, so far I've been wearing this for a couple of days and I'm extremely happy about this watch. I just wanted to show you a picture uh, from my uh, Instagram. Which you are very, uh, you should, uh, you should uh, link up with me on, on Instagram and and um, see what I post there. Uh, it's it's actually the Instagram is just called uh, as you can see here, watch on watch channel. So please um, please follow me on the on on Instagram. And I just wanted to show you um, the the two Takoyas I used to own. Well, and here they both are. I used to own this uh, Aqua Razor Caliber Five Aqua Razor in in blue from 2009, and this uh, Carrera Twin Time from 2013. But I I sold th these two uh, watches um, because I needed uh, funds to uh, to buy my Rolex GMT Master. So um, they're gone now. But I'm I must say I was very satisfied with both both these watches. Uh, here you see, see me with the Aquarius, and I, actually this is the one of the two Takoyas I miss the most. 
it, it I think it's a really really nice looking dive watch uh, that uh, as you can see here I'm wearing a you maybe just see I'm wearing a suit and it's it fitted perfectly with a suit so um, just to let you know that I I have an Instagram account and um, well enough talk let's look at this Tag Heuer, which is completely brand new uh, and I got it for quite a, uh, a nice price a good discount but um, still it's it's a watch that that is cost near two thousand dollars so it's not like a very cheap watch uh, it's a it's a quite expensive watch but I was really I needed a really uh, save some money to be able to get a Takoya Aqua Razor again and this time I went with the white the new version uh, you can see the dial uh, the new version of, of uh, the newer version of the Aqua Razor and this time with a white bezel and uh, this nice steel uh, bezel and uh, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, I've been, you know, not too happy about some of the Seiko and uh, Orient and uh, Citizen uh, um, rubber bands, but this 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 is uh, this is a, a whole other league. This uh, black Tag Heuer rubber band is of high high quality. It's extremely nice and with a beautiful 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 clasp, and I really like this push button opening function so um, this I picked up and I only been enjoy been enjoying this watch for a few days but um, so far I'm extremely happy with this watch and maybe you saw on when I just showed my showed you my Instagram profile that uh, I always already posted a picture of this baby on Instagram but so far I'm extremely happy about this watch and the, the reason why I bought it with the white bezel is because I'm really not a dress watch guy but I must admit that I actually this is a a missing part of my watch collection I need a a, a, a dress watch and I'm actually looking quite mu uh, much more into dress watches with um, a moon face because it's just it's, it's it looks really really cool i don't know what why what i sh i'm not a, a, a sea man so I, I don't know what why i should uh, have the use for moon face but well it's a cool function so um well and i'm not a diver as well so why uh, buy dive watches but i like the the masculine look of dive watches i'm a big dive watch fan but i am i must admit i the dress watch part of my collection is really missing and that's the reason why i picked this up i was Considering uh, the blue one, uh, the li limited edition, uh, only made in 100 uh, uh, copies, <coughs> and uh, and the the black uh, ceramic, which which is really really cool. But this this is much more like a chameleon watch. Um, it comes with this uh, nice uh, black rubber strap, and and and. It makes for a very uh, cool looking everyday uh, desk diver but with the whole design with the white uh, dial and uh, and the steel uh, bezel I actually think it, it could almost like be dressed up to be a dress watch so I already uh, bought um, a nice uh, light brown leather strap fitted for this watch so I think with that strap it would actually become somewhat of a a more dress look dress like looking watch so um, yeah it's just a, a, an amazing watch this one just a beautiful i absolutely love the design i think takoya among some of the best watch brands today when it comes to designing more uh, sports uh, looking watches and well just a great design here so and I must say it's been running perfectly so yeah I could talk about this watch for hours probably and uh, well I, I promise you I will get back with a, a, a deeper review of this beautiful watch I'm totally happy with it and I hope I sooner the, the, the new straps will arrive and um, the leather band and the uh, and another strap, uh, Kevlar strap I bought 
which also makes it look quite masculine and um, and I will get back with a review of this uh, this nice piece so just to let you know I'm alive and uh, I'm just been uh, enjoying the Sun and and enjoying California and uh, I will get back um, maybe today or in a few days with a, a, a video about uh, uh, the cool watch shops in Las Vegas especially uh, and I will get back back with reviews of, of these watches and uh, last but not least um, like I talked about in the, especially in the reviews of the, uh, the Seiko Monster and the, uh, the Vostok uh, Amphibian uh, I was not really happy about the rubber straps uh, that came with both these watches so these four guys arrived today and they are going to replace those rubber uh, bands and as you can see in the the Vostok review the Vostok is with uh, like the Tag Heuer is with a white dial so um, I think this will look really really great and and these two are especially meant for the Seiko monster so uh, thank you for watching and uh, and uh, last but not least I want to say thank you very very much to all the people who uh, has chosen to subscribe uh, for my for my channel i'm actually i think it's about i passed the, the first 100 and i think it's 107 right now so it's just great and please remember to subscribe please comment and like and get in touch with me write uh, write me and you can find my email in the description and uh, it's really a big motivation to uh, to see people uh, like my videos and um, and uh, thank you and um Remember to ask your friends to subscribe and uh, I will be back shortly with a, a lot of new videos with a lot of cool subjects and new watches and uh, cool uh, some cool shots I made in, in the US. So thank you very, very much.